Yesterday, we reported about some insanitary condition at the Tema Station Lorry Park here in Accra. We told you of the stench, we told you of the uh, choking smell, and we told you of the unpleasant sight. Armstrong Godalogba has been on the beat, and his father's report. You've seen being lifted today has been left here for a number of days. But after TV3 reported on the situation, some two days ago, authorities have come here to do what they are supposed to have done some weeks ago. Jacora Ventures, the waste company assigned responsibilities by the Accra Metropolitan Assembly for clearing waste at the Thema Station Lorry Park, came to the site on Wednesday after a TV3 report on the uncollected refuse at the Thema Station. They arrived with their trucks to clear the place. The Special Operations Manager of Jacora Ventures, Edward Awi, explains why the refuse was left uncollected for days. Our rates are supposed to be paid when we lift. So as you can see right now, what we are lifting, we are supposed to pay on time so that we can lift the other one. But the, but the payment is not on time. So it takes a whole period. So all the containers get full again, so they start rushing to us that we have to come. Yeah, And this one really affects our operations too. How much do they owe you? They owe us 9,000 Ghana cities plus. Yeah. Yeah. But earlier on we were told that it's not about them owing, but it's about you not know, having enough trucks. You can see behind me, we have enough trucks. We have, this is even the late, one of the latest ones that we have, 2019. We have quite a number of um, trucks. We are trying to do the segregation thing. So we've acquired more trucks. We, are, we want to start with the station actually. So we've acquired more trucks. We are getting more containers. You can see one of the containers, extra containers that we've got here. Some drivers and traders expressed gratitude to TV3. They are more than uh, two months or three months now. So today we come and take the bola here. We are very happy. Yari aswaba, ti esla yempe yufuano. Se bola ne yama, esla mo amu ba fama ye na mo fa unko. Aya sadia, yari ano aba. Must appreciate TV3 for this yeoman's job. If you are also dealing with sanitation, I think greater will be Ghana. And I wish you well, TV3, for a good job well done. Meanwhile, local government and rural development minister Hajia Alima Mahama and the municipal chief executive of Okankwe North, Boy Lai, have called on other government agencies to support TV3 sanitation campaign. I, Hajia Alima Mahama, minister for local government and rural development and MP for Nalirugu Gambaga constituency, I support TV3 sanitation campaign. This is uh, Okankwe North Municipal Assembly. And uh, we've been very grateful for your effort to make Accra to be clean than any other country in Africa. Joseph Armstrong, TV3, Accra. Garbage out gets results and uh, we'll continue to push forward. We've told you that if you have some pictures and videos to share with us, our WhatsApp line is 020216 That's 020216 Senior Bright, this is good. It's good. It's good. And, and, and for me, it's a signal that, look, you, you cannot prosecute any uh, serious sanitation agenda without uh, getting the media to be part of mm. the whole process. Mm. And so, uh, <clears throat> what do we do? Uh, government should quickly get to media houses. I mean, put in that support, mm. and then we can go on and check. Look, like I keep saying, some of those who, who make the rules, mm -hmm. the bylaws, mm. they, don't, they are unable to go to all the places we journalists right. can go True. and see what is wrong. True. Our job is to go there and tell the state mm. that this is what is wrong. Point them in that direction. Yes, mm. and so this is how we want you to do it. And it works. Perfect mm. magic. So um, I'm, I'm, great. The, I'm glad the, the, the minister said that she supports the whole project. Mm. Let us see the support apart from saying it exactly. translate into mm. something more. It, it's I think important. it can be done. It can be done. And uh, if you look at uh, the demolition that happened at Big Base, uh, following the story that we did, right. also um, the Tamar Station, Kanishi Market, Mm. It, it tells you the impact that the media can have, especially the garbage out campaign mm. by Media General, TV3, 3FM, Connect FM, Onya FM, Akuma FM, and APL, 3 newscom as well. Mm. But then the bottom line is enforcement. Exactly. The enforcers of the law are not present when the law is being broken. Mm. Look at Tema Station. 
It, there's a Yoko office there, there's Shraj office there, there's the National Hockey Pitch there, there's a Ghana Health Service headquarters there, there's and, a and former court complex. The it's a key Ghana place, the whole Ghana Health Service. Like every, everything is around there, there's national lotteries there. Look at, look at that area. It's a very central point, and you have such a mountain of bola sitting there smelling all over so people are coming to the Nkrumah Mausoleum as uh, as tourists that's what they come and see people are coming to the art center to buy artifacts that's what, that's they, what see. they see people are coming from the art center to Tema Station to get a lorry to another suburb this is what they see this is what they smell and everybody is comfortable we'll be there meanwhile there are enforcers a sub metro director a municipal coordinating director a regional health director a district health director all of them are there they are enforcers paid with taxpayers' money. What do they do when they take their bath, they eat breakfast, and they tell their families they are going to work? What, what do, do they, they go do? work to, to do? Our job is to keep our cameras, our microphones, and our pens and pencils there. We'll stay there until the whole area right. is clean and clear.